with Dylan's birth, I was not going to be having any more children. So I, I typed up my birth plan and uh, had discussed it in, in detail with my doula and then had also given a copy of it to my doctor, my OBGYN. And we received a letter, we being all of her patients, I would assume. Um, I received a letter that said, this group has sold to this larger Catholic group. End of letter. No details, no information. It ended up being a very difficult three days of labor um, that was what a doctor would call unproductive labor because it did not um, lead me to dilate enough to, for a vaginal delivery. So at the end of the three days, I was told that I would need a C-section. And so I remember saying, well, if we're having a C-section, I want a tubal ligation. Can you please make sure that when you're doing the surgery that I get a tubal ligation? I don't want to have any more children. And the doctor I'm talking with says, I'm sorry, we can't do that for you. And we keep pushing and we keep pushing. And I, and I don't recall who in the room said it, but I do remember that one of us made the connection of, oh, it's a Catholic hospital. Is it because you're a Catholic hospital? And the answer was yes. They should have told us in advance that a tubal ligation was something that they would not permit when, when we're going in and having a C-section. If we knew that, we would have made different choices. The time to tell us about their own religious objections are at least admittance, if not much before that, because there's regular visits, there are times where you interview doctors and practitioners that you're going to be working with. They give you a tour of the facility. So after being denied a tubal ligation, I go in for checkups with my doctor and I'm shocked to find out that there are no options in her office because with selling her practice to a Catholic entity, she can no longer prescribe birth control for me. I definitely feel betrayed on multiple levels. I feel betrayed by my doctor, who I had a long-standing relationship with, who I felt knew me well enough um, that I think she should have expressed to me how selling her practice changed the, the relationship that we would have. Um, I, I feel betrayed by a lack of information at the start that would have led me to choose to give birth in a different hospital. Um, I, I feel just so frustrated that, that I, th and as I talk to other women about this, they are always surprised. No, I'm not alone in not knowing about these things.